Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to securely erase files and folders from your hard drive. So as you probably know, when you delete a file, it goes to the recycle bin, then you can enter the recycle bin. Or if you hold down shift, you could bypass the recycle bin and just permanently delete it, even though it's not permanently deleted. So it'll still stay on your hard drive until that section of the drive gets overwritten with something else. So if you want to securely remove some files so they cannot be recovered, then you could try out this program. All right, so when you open it up, you have several sections here. So this area here is meant for specific files and folders. And then you have the drive partition deletion. So if you want to delete an entire drive or a single partition, you could use that. And then we have the free space deletion. So what this will do is it'll wipe the empty space on your drive. So that way anything that you've already deleted will be wiped, but it's not going to affect your non-deleted files. But if you're using something like this, it's always a good idea to do a backup of your regular files first, just in case something goes wrong. All right, and then we have a registry cleaning section here, which I never like to use because sometimes that could cause more harm than good, but that's up to you. Then we have the system cleaning section here. So this will just do some basic cleanup of temporary files and browser information. And then finally here you could view reports of other jobs you've ran. Okay, let's start with the file and folder deletion section here. So all you need to do is click on add files or folder or you could drag and drop. All right, so let's say we're gonna delete this folder and any files starting with B. So we'll just drag them in there. And then down here we have the security level of how many passes you want to do. So low, normal, high, higher, and highest. So depending on which one you choose, that'll determine how effective it is and also how long it takes. So if I were to do just a low random example here, and then I could click on start deletion, then you just need to confirm and then you could hide the confirmation prompt if you don't want to see it each time. So you can see that was quick. And then it pops up a report in your web browser here. So one thing you're going to notice about this program is that it is free for personal use, but you're going to have to see a little nag screen. And if you're going to have to register it, otherwise you're only going to be able to use it for 14 days, but the registration is free. So that's up to you. Or you could buy it for $30. All right. So here is our report. Shows you what it did, the date and time. Pretty basic. Okay. So now let's try this folder and these files and you can see when you drag them in there it expands the folder to show you how many files are in that folder all right this time let's go for the highest and we'll see how long this takes and then also by the way you have some options here so after deletion you have to kind of hover it over it exit the program shut down windows reboot or go into standby and then here you could show the report from the last job or delete the report from the last job. And then here we'll empty the list of files and folders that you've added. And then up here too, you could create a profile for later and then load the profile if you want. Add some comments to your reports as well. Okay, so we have it on the highest version here. So let's click on start deletion and see how long this takes. Okay, that was still pretty quick even though it was on the highest version, but then again, it was only a few files, so it's gonna be pretty quick for that. All right, so that's how the file and folder deletion works. Let's go over to the drive partition deletion here. Okay, so this only shows the E drive because we can't wipe the Windows drive, otherwise it's not going to work because we're running Windows. Then you have some options here to remove file names out of the master file table and clear the change journal. Okay, so let's wipe this here and see how long that takes. And then you have the same options here. Let's go for normal this time. Let's say yes. Okay, so I'll probably pause the video here since it says it's going to take eight minutes to complete and then we'll be back. All right, so now we're Doing a little cleanup here. All 
Okay, so here's our report. So it actually took about 20 minutes instead of eight minutes. Okay, so one file cannot be deleted. So let's see what we have here on the drive. So for some reason it could not delete this file. I don't think it says why. Okay, so like I was saying, how long this will take will be determined by how large your file is and what method you use down here to do it. Okay, let's go back to the start here. Let's check out the free space deletion. So this you could use on your C drive if you want. So you have some options here to clear up the master file table, clear the change journal, and overwrite slack space, but this says this is highly time consuming, so it's up to you if you want to wait for this. Okay, so this one obviously is a little more dangerous because you're technically deleting space on your system drive here, but it's only going to delete free space. And so you have the same methods here. So we're gonna do the low one for this time and we'll see how long this takes. And this is where I was saying to do your backup first too, just in case something goes wrong. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can see we got this message pop up too, telling us we're low on disk space, but that's because of the process here, so it's not actually you know adding files, so you might see this as well. All right, clearing up the MFT. Okay, so here's our report and our pop-up. And then you can see here too, our free space is back. So it's only taking up that space during the process here. So just to be aware that if you are already low on space, uh, you might run into a problem. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so back to the main menu here. So that's pretty much it. We did the file and folder deletion, the drive partition deletion and the free space deletion. And then, like I said, I don't like these registry cleaners, and this was just kind of a basic cleanup for temp files and browser cleanup, but of course, you could still use that if you like, and then if you want to see your reports, you could come here. Okay, and then one more thing before we're done here. Let's go up to the settings. So if you want to have it ignore errors, uh, confirm deletions, you could set your priority for the application. So here's the create journal option. So if you want to create journals for the events here, then you could set the maximum number of entries. And then your deletion report, you could have it show the report every time that was the uh, browser pop-up. You could set that to always, only for errors or never. And then here is your output folder, which you could change by clicking on the uh, folder icon there. And then for journal here, this is kind of like a little log here where you could see what's been happening here. For the processes we just ran here, you could print it out, you could empty it. And then you could check for updates. I have a check for updates at startup. And then if you click on help, it'll just take you to their website. All right, so that is your overview of Secure Eraser. So it's a pretty effective program and it's nice that it's free. So I will put a link in the description where you could download it and you could try it out yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.